Good evening, uh, ten ball uh, instructional video. We will make it very interesting here. You see here, we have a little angle here, okay? So how how can we uh, make a five ball? We can't make a combination here because the nine is blocking the nine is blocking uh, the path, okay? So what will what will we do? We have it like this, okay? Ball in hand. I see an easy, easy solution here. Easy solution, okay? Can you see it? Can you see the easy solution? It is by uh, hitting the nine ball after making the two ball, okay? If we are all already, after we make the one ball with a stop shot, we, we already have this perfect angle on the two ball. After, after we make the two ball, the cue ball will hit the nine, move it out of the way, so this com combination will be available, okay? So I will show you. Just make a stun shot here. And now, shoot soft. Now, the, the critical part here is that uh, you, you should not shoot, you, you should not hit the nine too hard, because otherwise it will hit the rail and then it will come back, okay? So only, only hit the nine very, very softly, very softly. Okay, and then we have a position on the three ball. So I will do that, hit it very softly. Very, very softly. There, perfect. Very soft. Now the nine stays near this rail, away from those balls. And now we have an easy combination here. Easy combination. So now I, can, I, will, just, I will just draw back the cue ball a little bit, maybe half a foot. Yeah, and now we have a good angle on the four ball. Now, uh, this combination is straight in. So where do we want to be on this combination? Now we need to look at uh, the seven ball actually. We have the four, five, six and seven. And we, we will make the four and then we will make the six and then we are on the five and we need to go from the five ball to the seven ball. So where do we want to be? Where, where does the five need to be in so we can get to the seven ball? Here I can see a, 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 a pattern here. Uh, here, the, here the ten is in the way, so we can't go one and two rails for the, for the seven, because the ten is in the way. So we need to go around the table, one, two, three, four, five rails for the seven. So, so that is what I'm thinking about, okay? So we want this angle on the five later. So to make that happen, we want to be here on this combination. We cut the five, move the cue ball here, the five stays where it is. And that is how we get the angle, okay? So now I want to be somewhere here with the cue ball. Yeah, a bit too far, there a bit too far. I also hit it a little bit too thin, so it went too, too far down, the cue ball went too far down. And now we will make a cut shot. I need to shoot this soft, okay, soft, with the right spin, like that, whoops, I'm, I'm falling down here. So we got the, quite a lucky there, okay. Now we have the angle I wanted. And now we can play like, uh, like I showed you. Uh, one rail, two rails, three rails. Under the seven and up again. Yes. So I will do that left handed. Left handed, let's see if I can make it now. Yes, and under the seven, perfect. Perfect. And now we will play position for the eight ball. So here the ten is in the way. So this is the this is a, the angle I want on the eight ball here. Okay. Just uh, play it somewhere here with inside spin and top spin. I don't want to play position here because the, this area is very small. 
to make the to make the eight in the corner here. This area is very small, but this area is very big. So I would play positive into this large area instead. Yeah, I want to. I'm a little too close to the eight there, and to reach. But this is still okay. I will go two rails, come into the angle for the nine ball. I need to reach and play left-handed at the same time. But it went okay. It went good. A little bit too far, so I need to reach again. Now, this is a quite a tricky shot here. You can't, you can't draw it back and stay on, on this side of the 10, so you need to come here. The, the scratch is dangerous there. Very dangerous, very dangerous. You can't hit this rail and come up, back up, so that is not good. And hitting this rail here is very difficult, very difficult. You might want to play with speed and stop here, directly here, but you might hit it wrong. You might hit it too thin and scratch here. Because if you have this speed and you hit this, uh, if you hit the nine clean in the center of the pocket and you have this speed, uh, you will stop here. But if you hit the nine a little too thin, you will still have the same, you will have, you will have more speed. So then the speed will, uh, will make the cue ball scratch in the side. So if you don't hit the nine, uh, perfect, perfectly clean, you will not get good shape on the 10 and you might scratch there. So this, this is quite a tricky shot. So on this, this shot, I prefer to use inside spin because, because the nine is so close to the corner and you, you shoot soft anyway, so it will maximize, uh, it will make the pocket bigger if you, if you shoot softer, okay? So that is why I use inside spin and go uh, one, two, three rails. Stop somewhere here in this area, okay? That's a good area. You, I really don't want to risk going closer here to this area in case I go too far and stop there because being here is a lot better than being here, okay? So I will do that. A lot of inside spin, little top spin, mostly inside spin. Like that. That is that is good. That's perfect. That is perfect. You really couldn't do anything better than that. That is as good as I could make that shot. So now we are on the ten ball, and uh, it is quite easy. But you can you can miss this shot. You can do that. So you need to concentrate and make this shot. Yeah, wow, what? what? <laughs> I can't believe I did that. I can't believe it. I focused on making the shot. I forgot the cue ball. I forgot that the cue ball could scratch. I was so focused on making the temple. So there's something you can learn from, okay? I focused 100% on making the temple. I forgot the cue ball, okay? So focus. Uh, 95% on the on the 10 ball, 5% on the where the cue ball is going. Okay, so this is the end of my instructional video. Until next time, goodbye.